Can you just walk us through what will happen on the day for someone bringing a, a gun to this event? Okay, so if there's a local collection point and people are going to bring their firearms to that event, first and foremost, before they even come to the event, we want to make sure that they've made their firearms safe. So gun owners know how to make their guns safe, but we want them to do that just to be doubly sure. When they arrive at the event, the same thing will happen, so we will check. So don't be insulted because we're checking, we just want to be safe. Uh, and then we'll, once we've done that, we will go through a process of reconciling your online registration with the, the way in which you're presenting on the day. So your credentials that you bring with you, your firearms licence, your photograph ID and so forth, and the number that you got when you registered online. So we'll reconcile that in the database, and then we'll go to the table to determine what the value of the firearm is against the price list. And um, as we know, it'll be con condition dependent. So there's assessors in the team who will make an assessment against the price list and against the condition of the firearm, reach agreement, at which point um, that firearm will now go into the control of the police officer uh, who will then put it through a disablement process. How, will it, how is it being disabled? So we've got a machine that um, the media has seen today and I'm pretty sure you're going to be able to show your viewers. It's called a bulldozer but it's, um, it's largely a piece of equipment that disables the firearm. It bends the barrel, it crushes the operating mechanism and does the same to the, uh, to the butt of the firearm if that's considered necessary. So, um, it's just a way of making sure that there's, people have no need to come looking for those firearms. They're completely disabled and the reality is there's no value in them whatsoever anymore after that point.